And that's the top of Lingmore Fell. Well, good morning to the Langdale Valley and welcome to another Wainwright walk with a local lad. And today we're going to go up Wingmore Fell. So that's uh, today's target and uh, come along. So we've uh, come up through the wood here, gained quite a bit of height and uh, you can see over in front of me here is chapel style and uh, the gill that went up beside on the uh, last video we went up Silver Howe which is just there uh, we're in the shade, it's not very warm actually in the shade This is a good spot for lunch, so that's what I'm going to do. Broken its back really, I think that's hardest bit done or steepest bit, whichever way you want to look at it. And uh, a cracking view, I'll show you. Right, we're out in the flask. Brought a little stove solid fuel so it's a uh, yeah 400 yeah 400 milliliter outkit mug and uh, homemade windshield and uh, speedster solid fuel stove and pot support so easy enough to assemble And the key to getting solid fuel going easily, which we'll do in a second when we get organised, is a few drops of mess. It's a bit like a teaspoon of sugar. Helps medicine go down. So let's get some water in there. Windshield round. And we're away. So there we are, that's boiling. Yep, and we can still touch the handles, that's good. And uh, we'll get that in there. Leave that there a minute, get that back on. Now, I'm not a big believer in these uh, bag meals you get from uh, shops. They're too damned expensive. So that is a uh, IKEA bag, IKEA freezer bag, and people say, "Oh, you can't put boiling water in." Well, you've just seen me do it. So you can another load of cods, Walt. Um, 25p Maggi noodles, 25p bachelor cup of soup, and a little bit of potato powder, 
uh, it'll cook in the bag I mean well, I, well it's probably cook now truth be told um, but um, we'll give it um, two or three minutes and uh, yeah enjoy our lunch well back on the road again well path anyway and uh, heading along the ridge now to uh, to the top which uh, isn't that far a little bit of up and down it's uh, it's a nice ridge actually so it kind of uh, bobbles about a bit just approaching the uh, final climb up to the summit and uh, the all-important view And that's the top of Lingmore Fell and what a view it is. Let's have a look. In the distance we've got uh, Harter Fell and then uh, Cold Pike, Pike of Blisco, Crinkle Crags and Oxendale down in the bottom, Bow Fell and a little bit of Hill Crag pointing round, Great End, Allen Crags, Rosset Pike, Glaramara Piker Stickle, Loft Crag, Harrison Stickle, Pavey Ark, High Rays, Sergeant Man, Ullscarf, Blee Rig. Over in the distance there you've got Blencathra. And then coming round you've got one of the Dodds, but I'm not sure which one it is, possibly Clough Head. Helvellen, Nethermost Pike, Dolly Wagon Pike, Seat Sandal, Fairfield, Great Rig Man, Dove Crag, Hart Crag. The other way around, actually, I think. Uh, and uh, Heron Pike uh, through the gap there. I think that will be High Street. Yeah, Red Screes and the Kentmere Hills, Thornthwaite Crag, Froswick Hill, Bell York, Wansfell. Down here in the bottom, we've got. Loughrig and uh, beyond Wansfell we've got Salhouse and Sallows and right over to the Howe Gills the other side of Windermere so what we have here are long shadows not long faces okay so at the uh, start of the uh, descent down to uh, Little Langdale and uh, my route back to the car We'll call it a day at that, I think. So thanks for watching and thanks for coming along on this Wainwright walk with a local lad up Lingmore Fell, which is over there.